with the area's certified most accurate forecast seven years in a row. Meteorologist Chad Raiflisberger. All right, look outside on our Storm Team 5 Skyview camera, powered by Pella Windows and Doors, looking towards the north and east right now in Sturgeon Bay. A nice view, 73 degrees. Uh, fairly comfortable out across the northeast of Wisconsin here early this afternoon. Now making our way into Appleton as we look towards the west. Plenty of blue skies, 72 at the moment. Lots of sunshine here in Green Bay, 74 with a south wind at 15 miles an hour. And now dew points starting to creep up into the lower 60s. Uh, still fairly comfortable humidity-wise, but you'll likely feel a little humidity later on this afternoon with a few passing clouds. Still dry even into the early evening hours, but I'd say by about 9, 10 o'clock, that's when these showers and storms start to move in to our portion of the state. Now, right now, much cooler, 59 right on the water in Kiwani, 74 down in Sheboygan, a lot of low to mid-70s fairly common across northeastern Wisconsin right now with these south winds at 5 to 15 miles an hour, helping bring in some warmer and some slightly more humid weather across our area as well. Dew points a little bit drier and lower to the north, but north some lower 60s starting to show up from about Highway 29 and to the south, and that will continue to be the trend throughout much of the day today. So we are dry with just a few passing clouds at the moment. Expanding the view, you can see a kind of developing line of showers across northwestern Minnesota right now. That is along a cold front, which will move through later on tonight. And this area of low pressure will move up to the north and east as well along this cold front. And as it does so, later this afternoon and into the overnight hours, that will help produce some showers and thunderstorms across the area. Right now, the best threat for thunderstorms will be from about Green Bay and areas off to the west in this darker shading. Now, the better threat for severe weather has been expanded to the north and east, including portions, portions of north central Wisconsin and the southern UP. And notice that does clip the western areas of our viewing area as well. The highest threat for severe weather, however, later on today will be across far western Wisconsin, southeastern Minnesota and areas into Iowa. Main threat from these storms later on tonight will be a potential for some damaging winds. Again, that's kind of centered just off to our west from Green Bay and the Valley, but we'll be watching that very close for northwestern areas later on tonight. So future cast through your afternoon looking just fine. Just a few passing clouds across the area. As we approach the evening, here's now 9 o'clock, and notice this line of showers and storms starting to push into Lane Lade Forest, for, uh, Florence County. That will continue to move eastward around 11 o'clock midnight for Green Bay and the Valley, and then Lakeshore areas slightly thereafter. And then we'll start to see this rain come to an end throughout the morning hours on Wednesday. But another little piece of energy in the mid to the upper levels will move through tomorrow afternoon, and that could give us maybe a few more spotty or isolated showers and storms tomorrow afternoon as well. Rainfall potential into early tomorrow morning. Could be some good downpours, maybe a half inch to over an inch of rain for areas mainly north and west of Green Bay later on tonight. So mostly sunny for your afternoon. Clouds start to increase late in the day with high temperatures away from the lake in the mid to upper 70s. Showers and storms are expected tonight. Some of those could be on the stronger side as lows fall to the 60s. Your seven-day planner has maybe a spotty shower or a storm Wednesday afternoon. 65 dry weather on Thursday. Another rain chance Friday and yet more rain in the forecast Sunday and Monday. The Kagan Allergy Report for today has pollen moderate and the mold is very high. You can always get the latest forecast updates, watches, and warnings on our Facebook page, WFRV Local 5. At least today it still feels kind of like summer out there. Yeah, really mid 70s, nice. just a Beautiful. little humidity, but overall feeling pr pretty good. All right, we sure don't need that rain though. That's right. All right, thanks a lot.